Hi guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn going out to catch some catfish this morning. We have to dodge some storms though. We got a line coming through and uh, hopefully it doesn't get exciting uh, in that end. The, hopefully all the excitement is to catfish. If you like the videos, please hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. Be sure to leave us a comment uh, in the comment section below. Uh, any questions you have, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, baby. First stop. You know it. You know it. Byram store. They deliver mush and egg sandwich. It's the breakfast of the gods. The catfish gods eat liver mush and egg on a bun. So good. I'll be back in just a minute. Oh, the goodness. The goodness. Oh. Driving. Narrating. Trying to open up this little package of luck. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. See that egg peeking out? Oh, that egg peeks out and says, Good morning. Good morning, this little egg. It's like, it's like the sunshine. I guess we don't have sunshine this morning. But this is like the sunshine peeking out to say, Hello. Good morning. Good morning. There's some liver mesh behind it. Get excited for my liver mush and egg sandwich in the morning. I know it's lunacy, but it's okay. It's special. It's warm on my leg. If it was a cold morning, this would really be nice, but as it sits on my leg here, it's warm. And that just reminds me of the warmth of like the sun, the egg. This is just all symbolic. Alright, we're gonna put the boat in and try to catch a catfish. A lot of people at the boat ramp today. It is packed. Yep, that's the parking lot on the other side. It's almost full too. I don't know where I'm going to park. Up oh, there, up oh, there's somebody. There's some. Oh, up, 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 up. There's two. There's two. Oh, I didn't see it. I get the lake to myself. And I get my favorite parking place. All right, first things first. Get the boat ready for release. First thing I do. When I'm awake, let's come back here. Yep, make sure the drain plugs in. Always important. People ask me how I put the boat in the water when I'm here by myself. It's all kinds of different ways to do it. I'll show you what I do. First thing, we gotta come down here and undo this. Boom. That little there. So good to go. I'll show you what I do. I take a rope, put it around my bumper. Bang. That rope connects back up here to the boat. When I back down the ramp, when I back down the ramp, it floats right off. Bam! About a 30 foot rope, depending on how steep the ramp is. It'll float right off. I'll jump out of the truck and it'll be good to go. All right, folks, if you haven't figured it out, I like shallow water fishing in the springtime. I can't stay away from it. So I made another run to the river. Uh, I'm going to find me a shallow shoal here and see if there's any fish up here shallow right now. Uh, they dropped the lake a lot. Uh, it's been about a week since we've had the heavy rain. So let's we'll see if some a uh, little bit of stability will usually help getting the bite back going. So I'm up here fairly early. It's uh, not even 8 o'clock yet. So uh, put the anchors out. going to anchor down. I got a south wind. Uh, which is the opposite direction of the current, so it's not the best position to anchor in, but I'm going to anchor up up here and uh, see if we can get on some fish. Hopefully, uh, we'll find one or two up here shallow. We can pull them, put them in a boat, make them smile for the camera. I'm actually going to do, some of y'all asked about how I anchor. I'm actually going to back into the area that I'm fishing. I got a wind coming this way, so I'm gonna get the boat spun around, drop out my bow anchor, run out about 100 feet of line, 
and uh, then put out my uh, back anchor and then just pull it tight in between the two. All right, first thing's going to be the bow anchor. Notice the boat's kind of twisting. That's fine. Well, 90 degrees is the position we're going to be in. Wind's got us spinning. It's going to be windy today. Let the anchor bite, let it catch tight, and the boat will spin around in the wind. Once we get the boat kind of straight, we'll let it go straight back. Put out the back anchor. Yeah, I got that anchor out, tie it off to that cleat, pull out a little bit of line. What I'll do is just go back up here to the bow, pull this line tight, and we get to go. We are hooked up. Hooked up. He just decided he was going to pick it up and walk off with it. We got here. Lake Wally special. Show them to the people on Facebook Live. Yeah, that's a good one. There we go. That's somebody with some shoulders. There's some. Come on, pig. Might have some trouble with him at the boat. Come on, pig. Piggy, piggy, piggy. All right, guys, here it is. The fun continues. Ah. The old jacked up male. Alright guys, hooked up, got one on top of the water blowing up about two feet deep. Looks like he's got a decent tail on him. We're going live right back there on Facebook. I'm going to get the net ready for this one. Normally I never get the net ready in time. Fishing with brim. Fishing with brim. Uh, hey, we're about to be in the water. That fish was probably two feet deep. Don't think he's as big as I thought. Looks like he's wrapped. Now he's free. Not on him. Okay. Sam. All right, guys, winds are howling. Uh, I'm gonna make a move here. Been here for about two hours. Put five fish in the boat, uh, two teeners and a 30. So pretty good, pretty good set right here. Uh, but when I got up to the boat there, they didn't that was lower team. So uh, anyway, I hadn't been just goofing on fishing. I probably wouldn't have netted him. So. Anyway, uh, gonna make a move, try some, do some drifting. I'm gonna run down the lake. We got some cleaner water uh, down there. And uh, gonna get in it, do some drifting to see what the drift bite's like. All right, guys, just taking a look at a little side scan here to see if I see anything that really drives me crazy. There's stuff scattered everywhere, and uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I got a south wind, though. It's going to blow me right through an area that I'd really like to fish. I'd like to just really eliminate this as to whether there's fish here or not. All right, guys, hooked up. Made a long pull through here with no fish. No bites.
another Tina, big female. She's ready to go. She's ready. guys took up again taking off a few here And then I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, wind's getting up, that rain's a coming, so I'm gonna get off here before I get soaking wet. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you like the videos, please hit subscribe down there in the corner. That way you can stay updated on all the new videos we have coming out. And leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below. Look forward to seeing you on the water.